track on the album, Blood of Say, it's called Question is Place. Uh, we did a video for that and uh, it's a really heavy song, really terrific, down to. Sugar Sugar, and you, I think you really like it. Jimmy put on some really good drums on that one, and me and Marcus are spreading away, or yeah. are we just Sugar Sugar? We are, uh, I think we can go. That, that song is more Sugar Sugar. Yeah, Sugar Sugar. Yeah. Really cool song, and a big epic chorus. Magnus takes that song to another level. <laughs> Track number two on the album is uh, called Frontline, and that song is, is uh, it's a more up tempo song. Yeah, like number two on the song, on the album. <laughs> <laughs> Besides on that, it's a heavy rocker, it's a hard rock song. Yeah. With, combined with all the industrial yeah. kind of stuff. I think it's, it's, it's kind of a, a really, you can define angle in that. Yeah, yeah, kind yeah. Of. yeah. And of course, tons of guitar songs. Oh, yes. And melodies. Absolutely. And threads. Yeah. Threads, yes. Yeah. We yeah. have threads and we have uh, fast guitar things yeah, going yeah. on. We, 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 actually, we give Scott Dine a run for his money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're going to hear it. It's going to be uh, really cool song. Awesome. Song number three on the album is called Feel Afraid, and that's a groove rocker. A rocker? What the fuck can I say, a rocker? I mean, we're the fucking heaviest band in the world, and we're talking yeah. rocker, okay? Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> uh, it's it's uh, something something uh, something cool from the Angle Camp. It's uh, got tons of medallies in that song as well, and a uh, big epic chorus, of course. I, I think it's got a little bit of a maiden vibe to it. Yeah, yeah. I, I would actually say a bit. Progressive. Yeah, we have rest on this side. Next song up is Numb, which is a really cool song. I mean, we say this song every track, but therefore we love the fucking album. I mean, every, every, every track is really cool. Yeah. Uh, the thing with this album is like, let's get on to the whole thing about this. I mean, I wrote like. What is it, like 100 songs for this project, Angle? Yeah. And I needed some breath. I mean, it isn't like you guys didn't write one to write songs or write, I mean, you write riffs here and there. Yeah, and yes. it gets, when, it got, when it comes to structural songs or stuff, yeah. stuff like that. But actually, I drummed Jimmy for the drum tracks for this one. Mm. And we kind of built the song from, uh, uh, yeah. from around the drums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's pretty. Well, it's a new angle for us, but extremely different for being angle. Uh, usually, it's like like you have a song based from the start. You have a, you have a finished song from the start, and you, you go from there. But this one, this time around, we just did it from from the drums and uh, built the riffs. It was really interesting. Really interesting. And cool thing about two, you never know what's gonna happen with the songs when you send it to the mix when you are there, and you go through all the details and you talk about the songs you really want to do with them. This is actually a, a, one of the other mixes that we got back from you, yeah. and it sounded just amazing. Yeah, it, it turned out yeah, yeah. fucking awesome. It was, it was really something else. I was like, whoa. So I, 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 that, that, is, that, that was a really, that was a sleeper. Cool song, non. Yeah. Uh, track number five on the album it's called uh, Cash King and it's a fast motherfucker to be an angle. Uh, really cool with melodies and stuff of course. But something something different. Something new or angleized. Um, this one as well contains a lot of guitar solos. I mean I never heard or seen Marcus speed up like he did on that song or do on that song. I mean no. the fingers He's doing the yeah, yeah, casting the spells yes. on, the, on the guitar. Uh, so, check it out, that solo is awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. Next song up is One Good Thing. And one, th one good thing about this album, I mean, I kind of co-wrote three songs on this album with a dude, a friend of ours, called Pontus Yelm, guitar player and main writer of uh, Dead by April, really good friend of the band. And this is one of the songs that we co-wrote with him, and it's one good thing. 
a huge epic song, and the choruses are alive. This big! That's my haircut right now. Uh, I kind of like it. Really good. Well, track number seven is called Blood of Saints and it's the title track of the album. It's uh, the most diabolical song on the album, for sure. It's uh, really heavy, down to the fuck. I mean, we were saying all the way that it's groovy, but you can say that the whole album is groovy. It's metal, of course, and it's in just your influences as well. But a whole lot of more guitar playing overall. Yeah, it it's is. more like solo spreading, melodies and all that stuff combined into this album. Yeah, the thing with the thing with Engel is, is that, that you have this groovy, really groovy stuff combined with the really hard edge, you know, accept soundish things, you know, where they like precisely guitar yeah, pre playing. precise guitars and groovy guitars at the same time. It's, it's really something else. Could you say a little bit like splatter? Yeah. Of the diabolic vibe to it. Exactly. The dark kind of a dark vibe to it. Really dark and heavy. And this is a title track as, as you said, yeah. uh, Blood of Saints. And it's a sing-along friendly. Track. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. This would be a live, epic live, yeah. yeah. sing-along, sing-along chorus. This is a really funny song called. Down to nothing. I think it's got my way of guitar playing, way of writing music, and way of playing guitar. So I cannot tell that it's time for me to do what I always do. And it's about riffing, it's about being the riff lord. And this song is about being a riff lord with my body for more. Exactly. This is, this is the way to do it, the proper way. The proper way to do it. Down to nothing. Stuff like a ninja spin like a piece of club and crumble and a rubble and Next song up on the album, uh, song number nine, it's called Drama Queen. It's uh, definitely the most technical song we've ever played or recorded. Yeah, it is, it is definitely. And it's one of Steve's favorite songs of the album. Oh, yes. But still very catchy. I mean, the choruses are yeah, still very catchy. Very catchy. This is one of the songs that uh, Nicholas co wrote with uh, Pontus. Uh, but it's, it's really, really catchy one. Really technical, but still extremely catchy, as always. But overall, an angle song. Oh, yes. This song was uh, originally recorded for the project Hell that we did with Hellman Strenga, but it turned out to be so good and it's so massive. And when we did it live with Hellman Strenga, it was just an epic experience that everybody should experience, of course. And we thought about why don't we re record that one and do it properly. And we, I think we changed tweaking a little bit here yeah, and there. We tweaked it more like more guitar solos into it. It is, it is. Um, we tweaked it. We, actually, it, it, well, when we, when we recorded this with Hellman Strenga, it turned out so huge and awesome that we said we, we need to have it on the album. We definitely need to have it on the album. And yeah, tweaked it, put some more guitar solos on there. Here we go. In darkness. We've come to the last track of the album. The last track is called uh, Lonely Sunrise. Oh, uh, <coughs> <coughs> sorry, sorry. Journey Sam. Exactly. And uh, well, since it's the last song of the album, it's a very, very, very epic and really epic ending of an epic album. I would say. I mean, on the last album, finally, we got the perfect Isis as a closer, and this one is even bigger. A really cool song and a really 
It's a moody song. Very moody. Yeah, yeah. Very moody. It's one of the moody songs. And dynamic. Goes like this. Yeah. And it's a... I really like it. And we do. Yes. Exactly. And it's, well, one of the more down tune songs we've done so far. Uh, that compared with the moodiness, it's something else. We definitely need to Pure darkness. Pure <laughs> 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 Pure darkness. Send what you can, it's my energy.